All right, I'm going to show you how you can use QuickTime Player uh, to make a screencast or screen recording of anything that's going on on your screen. You may I want to do this so you can share something with your students or have your students explain something and share it back with you as an assignment. Uh, so first go to the launch pad in your dock, push Q to find QuickTime. When it first loads, uh, you're, it's, you're not going to notice any windows pop up, but what you will notice is at the top it says QuickTime Player. Uh, instead of Finder or whatever app you read before, choose File and New Screen Recording. And when you do that, um, a black box is going to pop up. Uh, it's important that you make sure that you're using your built-in microphone and, and not nothing, because none is selected by default, meaning it's not going to record sound. Uh, what I usually do to check to make sure it's recording sound is uh, after I choose built-in microphone, I'll usually give a clap just to make sure it's working. Um, and then you push the red record button, uh, and you can do one of two things. You can click to record your full screen, or you can drag out a box to record some of the screen. Uh, I always wait uh, to make sure it starts recording. Uh, I see the numbers counting up there on the left. Uh, you can minimize that box to get it out of the way, or uh, it's smart enough that it's not going to record itself. So then you can explain whatever it is you want the students to do, or maybe they're explaining to you something for their assignment. When you're done, go back to that same black box and push the stop button. What you'll see in a few seconds here is you'll see that it brings up a video window and you can push play right, to listen you back to what you've time. recorded. Uh, when you're ready to save it, push the big red X at the top left. It'll ask you where you want to save it and what you want to call it. So you can say wherever you want and call it whatever you want. And then you can go and upload it to YouTube or Schoology or whatever you want. Uh, Google Drive, whatever is best for you.